Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. If you don't know what an avatar is, of course, it's the uh, little image you use on your messenger or or your uh, or when you log on to forums and such. Now I'm going to grab the background. I'm going to place a background color on it. Put it behind the image with page down. Make another one. Place it behind the image also. And then uh, place a gradient on top of that. And the gradient is just going to serve as a background. Uh, I don't want it to be just a solid color. But uh, you don't have to do a gradient either. You can do some really neat backgrounds if you want to. but for me, I just kind of feel like that a really complex background takes away from the um, from the face. So it's all about the face, and these uh, that's uh, what I want. Here I've got these uh, nose pieces. You can see I already put them on the image because I accidentally deleted part of this film and then had to come back. So uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to do any cuts, but I accidentally deleted about two or three minutes here. But all I did was uh, I went in and added these nose pieces here and I'm gonna take away the the blurs and the gradients on them so you can see what I did the nose didn't quite look right so what I did is I came back in and took another look at the nose and uh, added these objects to the nose with of course the appropriate blurs and gradients you can't really see them too well but it's one of those things that just doesn't look right without so there they are and uh, now I'll just use control Z to bring them back how they were before alright sorry about that but uh, I've done done it a million times all right, now we got uh, everything here in outline mode, and the reason I did that is because I did bury this nose shine here on the tip. So I want to select that and then bring it back to the regular mode. Now that I've got it selected, I can do with it as I please. I just think that now that we've gotten towards the end of this image, it looks like it's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to dull it down just a little bit by bringing the opacity down just a little bit making it a little bit more transparent which in turn makes it a little less sharp I think that looks a little bit more like how it actually is we are getting close to the end here see how I use that outline view display mode outline or normal Normal is like this, and outline, and of course, is outline. View, display mode. So, put that in your toolbox. Sometimes, as an artist or a designer, you just have to sit here and play with something or tweak it until it's just right. And uh, I created this avatar image just like I normally do, so I'm sitting here tweaking and looking at this stuff. And, it actually took me a little bit longer than two hours to make this avatar because uh, I, of course I did pause the video for you when I was actually just sitting back and looking at it and thinking I, I don't think you wanted to sit here and watch me think because I do a lot of thinking when I'm when I'm designing and a lot of staring at the drawing to make it uh, and cleaning up here on the right I do a lot of staring at the drawing to uh, kind of figure out what it what looks good, and I zoom out to. Right now, I'm zooming out to kind of see what it looks like as a smaller version, <clears throat> because as this is an avatar image, it's going to be smaller, and most of these details are going to be lost in it. But uh, I think that this cheek is probably a little bit brighter over to the right side on the model, so. In zooming out I caught that with my eye. Sometimes you can catch something when you zoom out from it that you can't catch when you're right up on top of it. So 
but you sure to zoom out from your images and look at them from time to time. Often, uh, when I was uh, in art school, well, I didn't go to art school as far as college, but when I was in, uh, I took a lot of art courses when I was in high school and such. And a lot of times I would take uh, something that I was working on and I would put it all the way across the room and go to the other side of the room to look at it. And in doing that, it allowed me to pick up things that I wouldn't see otherwise. I'm sorry to disappoint any of you that thought I went to some fancy art school. Uh, I didn't. You don't need to go to art college. Um, I would have liked to have gone. But uh, I went to the Marine Corps instead. I'm not uh, regretful about that decision. I wouldn't have met my wife that I am vectorizing for you today if I had not been in the Marine Corps. So, works out for everyone, doesn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Zooming out again to look at it. <coughs> I think that these uh, areas on the edge of the nose need to be uh, softened a little bit with a blur. So we'll soften that up on both sides. This is the part where it gets fun, ladies and gentlemen. When you get to this point, you can relax and know that this is going to turn out well. And now you can take these details and editing and tweaking and getting it just right all you want. You can you can spend a very long time doing this. And I guess it's part of the never-ending battle for an artist or a designer in deciding when enough is enough. Some people take it a lot further than others, and. Some people will some people pass that line between where something looks like it is a drawing or just a graphic and looks like a photograph, and that's how they do it. Is when they get to this point here, there is that fine line between a photograph and a painting, and some people can cross that line with their designs. I do not feel like I am there. Uh, I don't know if I have the patience for that, but I do believe that that is a lot of what it takes is a lot of patience because they do spend a lot of time on that kind of stuff. Some people spend weeks on one image, and uh, you know I probably will do that sometimes, uh, but uh, it's not that common for me. I, I more like to do it do it kind of quickly, get it looking good, and go into something else, but. I think as I get older, I spend more and more time on these things because I get a little bit more and more patient. <clears throat>